Meteorologist Brittany Merlot joins us now live from Pulaski with an update now. Brittany, what's it look like out there? Well, I'm in the actual heart of Pulaski, where the residents live, where the homes are, and I've been talking to them, and they've described the situation as when this tornado arrived, as it was a heavy downpour. Then all of a sudden, it got really quiet. The sirens started blaring. Everybody's phone went off with the emergency alert system, and then it struck. Pretty frightening situation there. Now, some of the worst damage is here right on Chicago Street near Grant. Now, trees are uprooted, and you can actually see behind me that there's a tree that was tossed on top of a house. Now this house was said to be evacuated because it punched, punched a hole into the roof. It also allowed some water to get in and they said that the power line was active still as well. So quite a scary situation for the town of Pulaski. Now take a look at this video sent in from the owner at Ford Witt dealership just down the road of the tornado itself tearing through the field behind the dealership. Now the owner said he was worried about its path towards the homes of Pulaski. Buy it. The flag, the American flag we have, was not moving at all. And then we saw the alarms on our phone, so then I went outside, and it wasn't even raining. It was not raining, nothing, and we went outside, and that's when we saw, like, two lower clouds come in. And that's when it got together uh, and cleaning up. And actually, a 13 year old was behind me in this house right here by himself when it hit. So, a lot of people are shocked, a little, a lot of adrenaline going on here. But everyone so far, they're saying that everybody is okay. So, that's really, really good to hear. Live in Pulaski, I'm meteorologist Brittany Merlot, NBC 26. That damage behind you, Brittany, certainly tells a story.